The poem by Amy Lowell. Now, Amy Lowell was an American poet of great accomplishment. She wrote essays, translated the works of others, and wrote literary biographies, including one about John Keats, the poet. Now, in this poem, the poet talks about a plant. If a twig is nurtured and taken good care, it will grow into a big plant. Through this poem, she relates the growth of a plant with the budding talent of a human being also. It is only a little twig with a green bud at the end. But if you plant it and water it and set it where the sun will be above it, it will grow into a tall bush with many flowers and leaves which thrust hither and thither sparkling. So in the first stanza, the poet says that there is a twig. Now, what is this twig? It is a shoot of a plant and there is a green bud at the end of that twig. If we plant it and water it regularly and set it where the sun shines, it will grow into a tall bush with many flowers and leaves which will move here and there when the wind will blow. From its roots will come freshness and beneath it the grass blades will bend and recover themselves and clash one upon another in the blowing wind. So in the second stanza, we know that plants and trees plays an important role in nature. The plants, as we know, prepares their own food. Now this line says that from roots, it will bring freshness and beneath the grasses, it will bend and recover and clash one upon another. But if you take my twig and throw it into a closet, with mouse traps and blunted tools, it will shrivel and waste. And someday, when you open the door, you will think it's an old twisted nail and sweep it into the dustbin with other rubbish. So in the last paragraph, the poet says that if we take its twig and not plant it properly and look after it, and throw it into the closet with blunted tools, it will wither and become waste. And after a few days, when we open the door to the closet, we will think and take it as an old twisted nail and not a twig which was once supposed to be a tall bush. And what would we do with it? We would sweep and throw the twig into the dustbin. So in this poem, the poet is just using the metaphor. Now what is a metaphor? A metaphor is a figure of speech in which there is a hidden comparison between two things which are not related but shares a common characteristic. So here in this poem also, the poet is using an extended metaphor about the potential or the talent that lies hidden in all human beings. She relates the talents of human beings with that of the twig or the growth of a plant and she says that if the talent is nurtured or taken care of the person will go on achieving something remarkable or extraordinary in life but if it is kept neglected or hidden like that of the twig which was kept in a closet it will waste our opportunity to show our talents to the world so just like a twig our talents too needs to be taken care of in order to become fruitful.